heroin, Xanax, and fentanyl. That's what police say two suspects admitted to taking before leading officers on a high-speed chase Sunday in Racine County. That chase reaching more than 100 miles per hour in the middle of the day, destroying this field. And as Sean Gallagher reports, it's a miracle that no one was hurt. This chase went on for nearly an hour as the suspects weaved in and out of various areas of Racine County and everyone walked away unscathed. The chase started with a Kenosha County Sheriff on the freeway around 315. The suspects were clocked going more than 100 miles per hour and got off at State Highway 11. Police say officers lost sight of them, but they were seen driving recklessly and speeding throughout the villages of Raymond and Yorkville. About 25 minutes later, they were spotted again on County Highway U near Two Mile Road. The suspects eventually got on to Highway 20 and over the next eight miles had stop sticks deployed and crossed the grass median into opposing traffic, but they weren't done. They turned left onto a quiet residential road and eventually hit a dead end. But the driver drove nearly 200 yards into a cilantro field before bailing out. Today, the soaked field riddled with deep tire tracks, where just the day before, police sprinted through with guns drawn. Don't even move! The suspects, a 36-year-old Milwaukee man and a 42-year-old Milwaukee woman, were both arrested without incident. The two told police they had taken heroin, fentanyl, and Xanax, and will face a number of charges including possession, running from police, and OWI. Formal charges are expected to be filed tomorrow. In the newsroom, Sean Gallagher, today's TMJ4.